Hey everyone, this is Ray Wong here with Constellation Research today I'm with Aaron Pickerel, Senior Product Manager at HCL Commerce AI. Aaron, actually, I want to ask you a question on how will AI transform the future of e-commerce? Hey Ray, that's a great question. Um, the way I see it, AI is going to revolutionize and remove all of these current frustrations. We're not going to see a browser anymore, for example. All of these passwords and forms are going to become obsolete. We're instead going to have some really powerful AI assistants that are going to manage everything for us seamlessly. You know, that's a great point, right? And we're seeing AI evolve, right? We have the ability to augment, the ability to accelerate, the ability to automate. We get the agents and, of course, we get the advisors. Now, give us an example for you seeing this make a difference. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll give you a simple retail example that I think everyone can relate to. I don't know if everyone in the audience has seen Iron Man or you know the Jarvis, but I'm sure everyone is familiar with ChatGPT and and the new Meta Llama Assistant or Bard. I mean, Microsoft, all these big tech giants are rolling these things out, and we're going to see them uh, materialize in like a digital mirror example for retail. Imagine you have a, a Jarvis or a, a Siri that's intelligent and remembers your entire wardrobe, all your tastes, all your budgetary constraints, and is able to cycle through thousands of permutations of, of outfits just to help you really maximize your wardrobe and optimize the amount of time you're spending. Yeah, you know, right. I mean, this ability to actually figure out how to augment you and ac accelerate what you want to do is, is huge. And B2C is a great place where we see the examples. But what about B2B? How do these uh, transactions happen there? Because B2B and B2C are totally different. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about the opposite side of the spectrum, right? Um, so in B2B, you have things like procurement challenges, supply chain challenges, inventory challenges. AI is going to be able to autonomously and automatically negotiate with your suppliers. They're going to be able to detect and supply supply chain problems in real time. They'll be able to optimize your stock levels and, you know, really reduce all that laborious manual effort. You know, that's true. And and you think about what happens in BDB, there's a lot of manual tasks. And, and this is really hard, right? People, organizations have to figure out, uh, take these manual tasks and take it to the next level. Um, they really have got to figure out how to, you know, be able to think beyond those manual tasks because everyone's having to do more with less. Um, what are broader implications in that case for the supply chain? Think about faster innovation cycles that manufacturers will be able to have uh, through direct customer feedback, right? Distributors are going to be able to achieve cost reductions through faster deliveries and optimized logistics. Uh, dealers are going to have highly personalized products and retailers, like I was mentioning before, will be able to focus on these really incredible immersive opportunities, these immersive shopping experiences, while AI is handling all these mundane routine tasks. You know, that's right. And we can always see companies that are doing this, right? The, you know, companies like Apple incorporating AI more deeply into our products, uh, right? And we're seeing that as transformation. You know, Apple intelligence is one of those. Uh, but there's more. Um, tell me, tell me what's happening in the future. I mean, it's everywhere. Like you're mentioning, I mean, it was a month ago they are announcing at WWDC that Siri, who, you know, forgets every conversation you ever have with it, is now going to have LLMs. I mean, Meta has just announced a new up, open source version of Llama. You have Bard, you have all these Microsoft, all the big tech giants, uh, you know, Tesla with, with automated cars and um, combining all these things, when we start to see this rapid evolution, this rapid rollout of these capabilities, you're going to see use case after use case come together in a way that is going to become an exponential uh, path for innovation. You know, you're totally right. The future of campaign to commerce is never going to be the same. We're going to get better mass personalization at scale, right? That's We're right. going to get be able to predict more on the supply chain. Um, we might actually understand what our demand shaping will look like, our forecasting could be, right? And actually, you know, mitigate risk and things we weren't able to do before that we can only imagine. So yeah, while we're sleeping. <laughs> You know, that's the best part. So, uh, but yeah. So, hey, thanks, Aaron. A lot of exciting developments ahead and really appreciate you being here. Great talking to you, Ray, as always. Take care, man.